8,000 miles. That is the amount of miles that have been driven on my car since its last oil change. And today, we're gonna do the oil change ourselves. So what's up everybody, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to another video. You might be thinking, I am crazy for doing an oil change this early because Lamborghini actually recommends that you do the oil change on this car every 9,000 miles. But I wanna be nice to this car and do it 1,000 miles early. And then absolutely never let this car not get an oil change anything past 6,000 miles because that's what I typically do with my car is every five to 6,000 miles I'll change the oil. Sometimes sooner if I was tracking the car a lot more. 8,000 miles of this oil kind of scares me. I really hope it's okay. When I checked it when we were at SEMA, it looked pretty clean. So let's go ahead, get a startup and go to Remy's shop. And then once we get back, we gotta raise this car a little bit because we are getting an alignment tomorrow and I think the car is just a little too low for me. Every time we go over a bump, it scrapes. Every time we go over a big bump, the back scrapes. So I'm thinking just an eighth of an inch to a quarter of an inch and the M4 will ride very good. We got the sickness set up. We have my tea and we have tissues because I got sick at SEMA and I still haven't recovered and it's been over a week so that's also why my voice sounds like I've been smoking for 35 plus years. All right, well we're here and it's starting to dump rain even more. But hey, this color in the rain is sexy. Got Remy's giveaway STI. The person that won this car purchased a sticker. I think it was like $9 or something after all said and done and they won a $100,000 bill. Do you think this car will beat my, my Corvette? Because the STI didn't. Uh-huh. Yeah. This car is gapping your Huracan when you can turbo it. Probably. Now the reason I pulled up to Remy's shop to do this install is not because I couldn't do it myself, but because I couldn't do it without a lift. Now we have a max jack system coming from Benpack, but that is not here yet. And to do a correct oil change on a Huracan, it has to be on a level surface because there are so many different places that the oil goes that if you have it tilted up on one side from jack stands, you won't get all the oil out. So we're gonna get this sexy thing off the lift, push it off to the side, and then pull the Huracan in. Do you think your Timu lift is low enough for a stock ride height Huracan? This is the first time I've heard this car in person. Well, I've never think. heard this car. I know, it's the first time. That's crazy. I know. You do have a Bluetooth turbo though. There you go. All right, here we go. We got Remy's race car outside. We have the Huracan in. You ready, Remy? 20 minute job. It's not gonna take 20 minutes. We're not gonna rush it. Also, this oil change, doing it ourselves is gonna save us 800 to $1,200. I think this is a smart move. And also, it's an oil change. How hard could it be? We might have to pull it in the other way. Well, we ran into our first situation. I was actually figuring out where to jack this car up. And again, Remy's Timu lift was not low enough. So we had to jack it up, put a rotor and a piece of wood underneath this tire, which gave us enough clearance to swing the arms underneath and get the car in the right jack points. So that side's done. Now I just gotta do this side. Now before we get up in the air, gotta take these off to get access to the oil fill spot. That way you can take off the cap so the oil drains right. Yep, it does look like it's ready for a change. All right, well here we are underneath the car. I took off the filter before I got the thing up and honestly, the oil does not look that bad. Here we go. Well, I get oil on my hands. You got, the trick is you gotta maintain pressure. The oil looks good, bud. This is some of the darkest oil I've seen. 9,000, this is what you get for a 9,000 mile oil change, bud. Okay, it was eight. That's some dark oil. <laughs> <laughs> Did 
Did you have anything to wipe off my hands with? Nope. You gotta use your new Lamborghini hoodie. Dang, go. No. Schneiderdays.com. Merch is selling out fast. Drain plug two of eight right here. Time for drain plug number three. Oh. Gosh dang it. That's so dark. <gasps> no! It's overfilling! <laughs> Drain plug number four. 15. Ready? Oh! <laughs> number five is pretty close. Oh, sheesh. It's up there. Go fast. Go. Oh! <laughs> oh, no, that's making it worse, bud. It's going. Ah! <laughs> What's happening? It was a good idea in my head. This is drain plug number what? Six? Six. We're confirming this is a drain plug, right? I don't know if it is or not. You're the one that said it was. Oh, oh. it is. <laughs> That's a drain plug. Ready? Oh, sh <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah. There it is. Last one, baby. That's it. All right, well now we are in the process of putting all the drain plugs back in. Also, two of the drain plugs I don't think you need to replace because I didn't get them in my oil change kit. And uh, this one, it looks like they couldn't get it off at the last oil change, so they just stacked them. I really hope this car doesn't leak oil when we're done. Now, I'm sorry to interrupt today's video, but we gotta thank today's sponsor, Raycon. Now, unless you've been living under a rock, you have definitely heard of Raycon before. They're one of the top wireless earbud companies out there. And today, I get to show you my set. Now, in my hands are the wireless everyday earbuds from Raycon, and these things are insane. Now, ever since I got these things, I've been wearing them all the time. Whenever I edit the YouTube videos for you guys to watch, or whenever I'm working on the cars and wanna listen to some music, they are off the charts, so good. And one of the best things I love about them is the noise cancellation. I have had many earbuds in the past and they do not work as great as these things do. Which is awesome because it is really easy to break focus when working on these cars or when I'm editing. On top of the noise cancellation, these things are waterproof and sweat proof, which is perfect for when you're working out or if you're doing something in the rain. Another thing I love about these earbuds is the fact that they will not fall out of your ear and they actually come with different sizes to make sure that they won't fall out. I can't even tell you how many earbuds I have had that fall out when I work out or when I'm working on my cars. Another thing awesome about Raycon is their cases. They actually offer different styles to protect your investment. That way you know your earbuds are always safe. But of course, the one thing we all care about is the price. With everything that I've mentioned, these earbuds sound like the top of the top earbuds, which they are. But luckily, Raycon is actually half the price of its competitors and gives you the best quality imaginable. And they aren't stopping there. From this Black Friday through Cyber Monday, they are giving you an extra 30% off for your your own set of earbuds. All you gotta do is go to buyraycon.com slash Jake and you will be able to pick up your own set of earbuds to enjoy whenever you're doing stuff to your cars, working out, or editing videos like I do. So thank you so much to Raycon for sponsoring today's video. Now let's get back into it. All right, now it's time to torque them all down. Number one is 10 foot pounds, or no, 10 newton meters. Ready for number two? I'm assuming it's gonna be the same. Um. Let's go to the YouTube video. <laughs> 10 newton meters. All right, just put the cover back on. <laughs> <laughs> We're also gonna put oil in the car, warm it up, drop it down and make sure nothing leaks. So now I gotta put 8.5 quarts in. We've already put 7.5. It takes oil quick. I heard uh, you take oil pretty quick too. What did he say? Hey. Oh. Did you hear that? I'm assuming it's just the rubber seal. Yeah, I think that's just the rubber seal on there. Is there a torque spike to that? No. I... It's probably good. I don't think it's going to leak. I think you're good, bud. You think we're fine? I think you're good. I think you're like 15 foot pounds past good. There's no oil on the ground, right? Correct. Okay. All right, well the car
car got warm, it got up to like 160 Fahrenheit for the oil temp. So we turn it off and I'll let it wait for two minutes, let the oil settle, check the level, and then if it needs more oil, put more oil in. If it has too much oil, what happens if we, what happens if we put too much oil in? Depends on how much, too much. <laughs> Hopefully we didn't put too much in. That's the issue. It's so clean, <laughs> it's so hard to see. <laughs> All right, hopefully that does it. Right to the full mark, just a tad bit above, but she's golden. Do you wanna drive? Do some rollbacks. <laughs> Fun fact, Remy is obsessed with rollbacks and I've never seen him do one. I don't own a real real drive car. <laughs> <laughs> well, wait, no, no, now you do. I do. The I 720. Do. I do, it doesn't quite run yet. <laughs> yeah, this is sick. I can't wait for mine, dude. <laughs> <laughs> and then the plan is one day, oh. November. We're getting matching. November events. next year, we're getting a matching Aventadors. Dude, this is sick. I know, dude. Hey, you have. You must feel like you have the biggest <laughs> driving this thing around. <laughs> <laughs> First I give some beans. Yeah, go ahead. Oh. <laughs> Traction control sucks. It was, <laughs> how do you turn that off? <laughs> that was instantly sideways. <laughs> I'm gonna try to lose control here. Go ahead. What do you think? <laughs> it's insane, dude. It's <laughs> insane. Well, thank you very much for letting me borrow your lift. Hopefully my Max Jax comes in. If you lose oil pressure, turn off the car. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Remy did it. Now I want to do it. sideways. so fast and now she's healthy and now it's time to play car tetris that way we can put this car in the shop so we can raise it a tad also ignore that it's not gonna be parked there for long <laughs> There you go. Easy. See? I can't even tell the difference. All done. And well, I think it's gonna be a wrap for the day, boys. My voice is completely gone from talking to you guys all day and working on the Huracan. A lot of big plans. I just took photos of the tires that are on the M4 right now. That way I can get snow tires for it. I need two more snow tires for the Corvette. Snow tires for the Supra are over there and I'm working on snow tires for the Huracan right now. So pretty soon, boys, all these cars will be winterized up. But I'm gonna go ahead, go inside. I have a few Schneider Days orders to do. If you'd want a hoodie or a t-shirt, go ahead and go to schneiderdays.com. The Huracan stuff is selling out fast and it's probably majority already sold out by the time you're watching this video. But if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button and the bell. And I'll see you in the next video because next one, is a very, very important one. Try to see.